The goal of science is to understand the world around us. It is a quest that will never be complete. And along this road to knowledge, we've taken some wrong turns. It's a little like trying to figure out the rules of chess through observation and logical reasoning. If you've ever looked up at the sky and wondered, you are not alone. People have been wondering how the universe works for as long as there have been people. We live on an amazing planet from the deepest oceans to all the amazing life forms that call the Earth home. Sometimes it's a very strange and mysterious place. And sometimes the wonder and beauty of it fill us with awe. One of the most awe-inspiring sights is the sky at night, especially if you can get far away from the city lights. Ancient peoples knew the sky well and wondered at it. It seemed to pass high overhead and curve to the horizon like a giant dome. The basic impression is that we live on a somewhat flat surface underneath a great dome of sky. The sun, moon, and stars seem to travel across this dome each night and day. You've probably heard that the Earth is actually shaped like a sphere. You've also probably wondered why things on the bottom of the sphere don't fall off. Many people wonder about this. Because of observations and thinking like this, many early cultures developed models of the universe involving a flat, solid Earth covered by a dome of sky on which move the sun, moon, and constellations. But if the world is flat, what happens when you travel to the edge? It's actually mostly myth that sailors around the time of Columbus feared sailing off the edge of the earth. Greek scholars had demonstrated the spherical shape of the earth nearly 2,000 years earlier. Still, early map makers often populated the unknown edges of their maps with all sorts of fantastic and terrifying creatures. The fear of the unknown is very common and natural. Undoubtedly, some of the uneducated sailors aboard those first exploration ships were terrified as they sailed far beyond the limits of human knowledge. One early and very imaginative culture in what is now India noticed something else about the way the world behaves and proposed a unique solution. They noticed that for things to stay up, they have to be held or supported. Without support, things fall down. This works for all things of all weights and sizes. They always fall down. Take away their support and small things fall. So do bigger and heavier things. Even living things fall, some more gracefully than others. If you want something to stay up, you need something to hold it up. So what could hold up the Earth itself? The Earth, it was proclaimed, is supported on the backs of four enormous elephants, 
north, south, east, and west. It's easy to imagine some curious person asking, Hey, what holds up the elephants? They would be informed with some annoyance that the elephants stood firmly on the back of a great cosmic sea turtle. Pardon me for asking, but what is holding up the turtle, our budding scientist might ask. Ahem, <clears throat> the turtle swims in a great sea, held in the tightly wrapped coils of the most sacred and magical of all creatures, the cobra. The head and neck of the cobra curve overhead, biting the tail curving from the other side. This holds the sky and the heavens in place, completing the cosmos. Careful, you're about to ask a forbidden question. If you would prefer to keep your head attached to your shoulders, this might be a good time to change the subject. In science, there are no forbidden questions, and scientific theories must be able to withstand the constant challenge of new observations. It's funny, but all this confusion came about because we simply didn't know enough to ask the right question. It turns out you don't need something to hold things up. You need something to make things fall. We now call this force gravity. So keep asking your questions. We'll let you keep your head. <laughs>